Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're doing another chit chat Get Ready With Me. And I'm going to use my um, True Blend Liquid Makeup by CoverGirl. I have Medium 7 and I have um, Dark 1. So M7 and D1. I think I'm just going to use this to contour today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I got, I used some samples of these and enjoyed the samples. It was only enough sample to um, do my forehead actually, but what it did I liked. So this will really be the first time that I'm using it um, everywhere. So M7 by the way is, its actual name is Soft Honey and D1 is Creamy Beige if you're, if you're curious. This might be a little bit, I don't know. It almost looks too dark, but I think, I don't think it will be. I don't know how tan I am now in relation to how tan I was when I was trying the samples. Um, no, it's a little dark, but I have a little bit of sun, so it's fine. My sun is a little more red than brown though <laughs> today because I was out all weekend working at a festival for a school district giving kids their back to school information and get on the bus information, you know, all that kind of good stuff. School supplies and anything that they didn't already know. <laughs> okay, yeah, that blended out really easily. I could leave it on, I could, I could wear it a lot heavier, but um, I have a baseball game later tonight and I really just don't want to be you know, covered in a ton of makeup. So I'm wearing it pretty thin. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the D1 in my contour places. You know, I've always been one to use a concealer as a contour product, but even better than a concealer is the exact same foundation that you used all over your face in a darker color. And the reason that it's better is because the consistency is the same. So um, sometimes, you know, concealer has a different visual texture than foundation does. And so, um, you know, sometimes when you use a concealer stick or whatever kind of concealer you're using, you know, it's just a different product than your foundation. And so if you really want the most seamless, smoothest um, contour that you can really have, then use the exact same product just in a different color. Um, because the texture is going to be exactly the same. So there's, it's just going to be seamless. It's going to look like you are naturally darker there than you are other places. So that's my little tip for you today is use the exact same product, just a darker shade. If you really want it to be the most seamless, natural, contouring possible. And I'm, this is where I would normally bronze on top. And then, you know, I'm just contouring the side of my cheeks. I don't do my nose. I mean, I don't have a big nose, so I don't feel like I need to. Um, I don't do under my chin because I don't like makeup transferring onto my clothes anywhere. And I mean, it probably wouldn't on a t-shirt today, but like if I had something with a collar, you know, on occasion you have that problem. So I generally never contour my chin. I mean, you know, especially when I'm swollen, I really should. I mean, it would look better. And if I were performing, I would, but sorry, I'm just cleaning up where I mixed that foundation together in my hand. And then I'm just going to blend it in now. 
but I just, I don't know, I just think sometimes we take some of these things way too far. We need to feel more confident ourselves. Makeup is great, and you know, play with makeup all, all you want, but um, there's something to be said for how beautiful you are. <laughs> just you. And so I, I don't worry about my chin, and I don't worry about my nose, but I give myself a little color if I want some color. And I I generally always contour here, and that's really just habit. Because I've been doing that for a gazillion years. And that's just because I like that transitional look. I think it's pretty. This foundation really is really pretty. I think on the face. I mean, I can I put it on really light, so I can see my skin through it. It's not like super full color coverage. But the finish is really, really pretty. I really like it. And by the way, don't buy actual face wipes. To wipe off swatches and clean your hands off and to clean off the ferrules of your brushes go to the dollar tree and get these you know baby wipes you get a bazillion of them for a dollar they don't dry out i mean this thing has been torn open like this i do keep it in a plastic bag but it's been torn open like this for like a year and hasn't dried out and i'm still using the wipes you get 70 of them for a dollar <laughs> you know they it uh, makes me crazy when I see all these bloggers, they're like, I'm, you know, I have these Neutrogena wipes and all they're doing is wiping swatches off their hands with them. And they're like, but they're so expensive. And I'm like, why are you using that to wipe swatches off your hand? <laughs> yeah, baby wipes. They work better than makeup wipes most of the time. I'm going to do some concealer and I'm just going to use, this is the one I normally use on my face because it's darker, but I'm going to use this under the eyes too because I'm more tan. And anything in the light family, anything that's light, you know, or fair, is gonna, is way too light for me right now. So this is the um, Cover Stick Concealer in Deep Beige by Maybelline. And it's stick. I'm just going to actually go straight in with it. And normally, stick concealers most of the time are better for... Um, spot concealing like this because they're thick and so sometimes they can be too thick under the eyes but you know just you just have to be smart about it it's actually a little bit too light for me on the face right now but I'll blend it out really well I'm a little blistery from this weekend I have some couple spots and I'm dealing with. Um, basically because I didn't need anything at the festival because I, you know, festival food is just horrible <laughs> for you. And I don't know, when I'm outside at things like that, I don't, I don't like to eat like that most of the time. I have to be like about to pass out because I'm so hungry or getting a headache because I'm so hungry or, you know, real jittery or something because I haven't eaten, which n never happens usually when I'm busy like that. Um, but I did, um, get McDonald's on the way for breakfast in the mornings. And, um, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm suffering. So I'm not going to do any of this face powder. This normally I use this to sort of just tone down my redness a little bit. I don't set makeup, but um, I'm a little, I'm too tan for it right now. See, even, even that is kind of showing up as a little bit white on camera. It's not as bad. The color is a little bit lighter than my face, um, but it's not as bad as it's showing up on camera. And I look really red on camera. This seems like really red, but it's not. It's brown. I'm, it's tan. <laughs> I don't know why it looks red on camera, but, and I'm not going to bronze anymore because I've already bronzed and I'm tan, so I don't really need to. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead. The product that I wanted to feature today is the uh, Mark Lip Click Full Color Lipstick, and today I'm going to use the color Gem. And this is just a, like a natural, 
one of the more natural shades. I mean, I don't know. Not natural. It's kind of like a mauvey brown color. Looks more pink on camera than it is. It leans more brown than pink for sure. But um, because I'm featuring this, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup sort of around this color. So I'll put this on first just to get me started. This really is such a pretty color and it's so easy to wear and anybody could wear it. It's one of those that's like appropriate for anything, you know. Probably, that's probably one of my favorite colors of all of the lip clicks because it's just like a no-brainer, you know, you, you can't really get it wrong. I think I'm going to wear the e.l.f. Studio Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the color Soiree. This is kind of a, it's a little more burgundy than the lip color. The lip color is, a, is more neutrally brown, but they both have, because this has a hint of mauviness to it, and this is a little bit burgundy, they'll still go together fairly well. So, I'm going to try it and see, but I'm going to put a little eye primer on first. Uh, so, I'm going to use the Mark Please Hold Eye Primer in medium deep, like I always do. And I'm down to the last bit, so I'm just getting it out with the brush and just kind of smearing it around and then patting it out with my finger or spreading it out with my finger not really patting I'm spreading And then I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to give it a quick wipe with the baby wipe just to get the extra primer off. I'm just going to use the same brush for the eyeshadow. I've not used this one before, so I'm not sure, um, you know, how intense it'll be. So I'm going to probably put it all over the eye. Um, the gold one that I have is, is very sheer, so I don't really know what to expect. Not all over the eye, all over the lid. <laughs> I'm not putting it all the way up to my eyebrows. Just in case you were wondering if that was what was about to happen. So this is light and sheer too. You probably could put it on, it, you could probably build it up a little bit. But, you know, then you have that whole thing about will it crease or won't it crease. Um, that's really pretty. position. It has a little bit of, it looks like it would be sparkly in the pan, but it's really kind of just a sheen. Um, I don't know, it's a really nice finish. I like it. It almost looks the way, okay, so I've been around for a gazillion years. And in the 90s, if you were doing the club kid thing, um, you know, raves and whatnot sort of thing, and you were doing glitter back then, the only way to really do glitter back then was to put a little base of Vaseline on your lids and then, you know, put the glitter over the Vaseline. And it gave you this sheeny sort of glittery look. And this kind of reminds me of that, but it's probably going to last longer <laughs> and um, you know, you don't feel like you have Vaseline on your eyelids, but it has that same sort of sheen to it, which was, it's really pretty uh, sort of finish and it's soft. So oh, I like it. It's pretty. Um, if you're all about like super heavy pigmentation, I don't know if you'll like this, um, but I dig it. Okay, and then I'm going to take this Essence All About Paradise eyeshadow palette. This is number four, Paradise. And I think I'm just going to take this light shade here and just 
put that kind of around the edges so I have a real light fade. I just want that to sort of fade away, if you know what I mean. So I think I'll just use, you know, like a crease brush and go in there. And I'm just going to start putting this like right at the crease because I took this base color up to my crease. So I'm just going to start this at the crease and um, kind of take it up to the brow. And then I have this pinky color here, and I'm just really lightly going to take that right at the crease. Really light. Just to give, so, you know, you go from the darker color here to a, a lighter shade to, you know, your skin tone with just some sheen. I don't want it to look pink in the crease. I just want it to look sort of faded out. That burgundy shade just sort of fades away. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that champagne color and just go right back over it. Kind of the top edge of that pink just to fade out that top edge of that light pink even more so it really fades. And then I'm going to take um, this Marc Jacobs highlighter. It's a gel eye crayon and the color I have is Think. It's number 44. It's TH and then parentheses it says I N K. So ink. And I'm just gonna do like a normal top of the lid liner with it. Now this is purpley. I mean this is like a purple color. But I think it'll look nicer. A brown would, would be good too, but just haven't used this yet and want to use it. So I'm probably going to take it across the lash line and then smudge it a little bit so that it looks a little less purple and a little just kind of looks a little bit smoky. Just giving it a very light smudge, very lightly. And you could do this in like a bit of a wing if you want to, but I'm just going to an outside baseball game today, so, um, you know, I don't need, I don't need a cat eye for baseball. <laughs> And I'm going to put a little brow powder on, and just a blonde shade called Fawn.
I'm scrunching my face up like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the Benefit They're Real Beyond Mascara. Um, I just have a sample of it. I think it's black. You can curl your lashes if you want to. I never do that anymore. <laughs> I've gotten so far out of the habit of doing it that I don't even think about it. But I thought I should probably mention it, so. My eyelashes are like crazy long. All of a sudden. Not from mascara, just, I'm just realizing that they've gotten really long on that eye lately. I'm not using anything for it. No mascara on the bottom. No makeup on the bottom lash line at all, because I like to look young. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. Studio blush palette, the dark one. I think I might use this color here. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? These are always hard to get open, though. I'll use that one. It's got like sparklies in it, gold sparkles, but I don't know that that's going to show up on the face. Which brush am I going to use? I gotta find my, I gotta find all my blush brushes. I don't know where they are. Let's go a little light with this first and see what it does. I haven't used this palette yet, so. Ooh, too much. Too much, girl. Too much. Woo! A little crazy there. Highlight. I think I will use uh, I'm going to use the next strobe of genius illuminating palette. I'm going to use this shade over here. It's a little bit kind of mauve too. Just keep the tones all the same. With this big brush, it that's real subtle. If I take something a little more dense, like, let's see, even something like this, even just like a generic sort of, I mean, this is an Ulta contour blush brush, but even one of those sort of generic ones you get, you know, with a blush palette, like a little cheapy one, 
we'll make it a little more intense because it concentrates all the color in a small area whereas this spreads it out and just keeps it lighter so do it whichever way you like whether you like it more subtle or super I didn't mean to put that on my nose on my tip of my nose down the bridge I don't like the tip of the nose glowing like the, a hood ornament jutting out of a the hood of a car. So, a little natural glow is okay, but I keep keep the highlight up here on the bridge. Up here. I think that's it. Very natural, easy, easy look today. So, very pretty. This is a, this is a pretty look for a younger girl, too. It's still a lot of makeup, though. It's a lot of, like, a lot of steps. For a young girl, young girls just don't need to go through all that. <laughs> but, you know, it's a suitable look for someone younger, too. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe you picked up a couple tips or saw some products you'd like to try or, you know, who knows what else. Um, if you like the lipstick, uh, I have a link to that down in the information bar. I um, You can get that on my website. Also, the eye primer, you can get that on my website, too. I think that's it that I used today. So if you're interested in those, then just click the more info button and the link is down there. I hope you have a really good day, whatever you're doing today. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.